Dr. Laura Perryman here in Seattle. I want to talk to you today about an interesting question that I got from a patient and they asked me about my bony and gland expression. This is a controversial topic and one that I spend a great deal of time thinking about. There's no definitive scientific answer on the utility of manual expression. That's controversial in of itself. It's going to get some strong reactions from my colleagues. But think about it for a second. If you're talking about a ultra-structural gland that is really delicate, the last thing you want to do is go and squeeze on it with two Q-tips without at least melting the contents first. If you think of force being a function of pressure over area, the area of two Q-tips, one behind the lid and one in front of the lid, is going to give you more force on a gland than a broader based area. And so that's why I insist on melting the oil and then follow it with a gentler expression. And I don't force it. If it doesn't come out, I'll try to heat it again and I'll try other things. But when you're talking about something like this, can you see that? It has a broad based paddle. It's not a pointy tip or a rounded tip. And so I can get a gentler application of force. I can get a consistent and sustained application of force in a way that I can't get with just Q-tips. So I do like using specific tools for manual expression. And I do think you have to use a thermal approach to melting the mybum rather than a cold expression. It's important to minimize damage to those beautiful little mybomian glands and all of their delicate little ace and I it reminds me of um, parakeet millet, do you know, at the pet store? They're just like these delicate little balls at the end of a stalk and a stem. And the last thing I want to do is damage those because I need every little bit of function I can get out of them for my dry eye patient. Hope this helps.